this one is 2.19 here we have a stiff beam right here which is hinged at this point and it's supported by these two springs here and both of them have same constant k there's a force p applied at a distance of c from here and we need to figure out this distance c so that the effective spring constant is 20 k over 9. so what is the effective spring constant in this case if I notice this P is applied at this point, we are going to find out the delta after deformation. So maybe the deformed shape will look something like this. So if I find this delta here, this relationship between P and delta is given by this constant right here, which is 20 K over 9. So for this, to show that this is the constant, we need to find a relationship between P and delta so let's look at the forces on this beam here so in the deformed configuration so there will be a force coming from this spring here a force coming from here and because it is hinged here we are expecting a reaction also coming from that point horizontally there are no other forces so we are ignoring that reaction there so let me call this one as f1 and this one as f2 and there's a force p right here which is at a distance of c from here so if i write on the moment balance equation about this hinge point i can write your p times c which is a clockwise moment is going to be equals to f1 times a plus f2 times 2a now the spring forces these are going to be related with the deformation at these places so if the deformation here is delta 1 so this is k delta 1 similarly this is k delta 2 so p times c is equals to k delta 1 a plus k delta 2 2 a now from the geometrical compatibility perspective you can see that if this is your delta 1 this is your delta 2 this is a this is a this gives us your delta 2 is going to be 2 times delta 1 so your pc is going to be ka delta 1 plus 4ka delta 1 or your pc is equals to 5ka delta 1 now this delta value that we are interested in in finding this delta is somewhere here and the distance from here to here is c okay so again using the similar triangles there i can write another relationship which is your delta 2 divided by the whole length that is 2a is going to be delta divided by c from this triangle okay so this gives us the value of delta 2 equals to 2a delta divided by c now since delta 2 is equal to 2 delta 1 we can write down your delta 1 is delta 2 divided by 2 from here so this is equals to a delta divided by c so now i can go and plug this value right there so pc is equals to 5 k a a and delta 1 is a delta divided by c now in the problem the relationship between p and delta is already given so p is equal to 20 k by 9 delta so we can substitute this here 20 k by 9 delta here c there so 5 k a square delta divided by c so now this delta and this delta cancels out k and k cancels out so this gives us c square over a square equals to 9 over 4 and if we take the square root on both sides the c value is 3 by 2 a